Yellow Panthers. <laughs> it's another beautiful morning here. It's Monday, so you know what day that is. Um, ignore this right now. That's what we're going to be working on. But I want to get started with thanking all of you who commented on the last video, followed directions, so you all were entered into the chance to win one of those six. So, just a refresher. Whatever one you guys pick out of the winners, I will resin them and then ship them off to you guys. So. Let's get this drawing started. So, out of all of you, there will be two winners. Mix this up a little bit. And yes, there's all the names that were on the list are on here. So, so you all know your names are in here. They're all put in. And to start, make sure there's no paint. Start off, we have. Ah! I don't know if you can see it. It's me, Travis. You are the first winner. So you get to pick out of those six. Put that aside. I'm like, there's paint everywhere, sorry. <laughs> Came to make a mess, right? Alright, so, number two. to dive in and we have Terry you are number two so Travis and Terry if you guys are out there listening send me an email or write me on Facebook and let me know your address so I can get these all set for you and then shipped out so hope to hear from you both soon and keeping the names for the next drawing so everyone that did this first one will be entered into the second giveaway that I do which will be a secret you'll have to stay tuned to find out when that is so today's pour is going to be inspired by the Northern Lights I've recently got in contact with a friend who I haven't talked to in a million thousand years. And she's from all over, but most known for living up in Alaska. So now that she's moved away, she misses the Northern Lights a lot. So I'm going to do a pour inspired. So the idea I have, I'm going to keep the negative space way back around. I'm going to fill the colors that we have into the salon care root applicator and just kind of do little lines of it across move it around if you ever look at pictures You can see the striations inside the northern lights, the lines. So that's what we are going to try to achieve today. So let me smooth this out. Alright, so now that I have the white laid down for the negative space, I will be coming in with the root applicator. Feel the air getting colder And no sound 
something's missing here I need you
see me. All right, so I want to come in in the bottom and I'm just going to squeeze just a little bit of this along the bottom and put it kind of the skewer. And I want to do little trees. So like little tree silhouettes. If you've ever been up to Alaska, there are evergreens and trees and more trees and more evergreens. So that's kind of the idea that I'm going to bring across the bottom here. See if I can do this. <laughs> I can do it. Oh, this probably be a little bit easier. Now this typically tends to be a little bit heavier of a paint, so it does sink a little bit more. So I'm hoping it doesn't do that completely. changing the look of it right now that way I know where where to place the lines afterwards when this is dry let me know what you guys think I will show you guys the finish on the next video because when it's dry I'll come back add more a little bit more trees add that um, mountain in the background but I think for the northern lights I kind of captured it maybe let me know <laughs> again thank you guys for joining me I'm gonna go clean up now and see you guys on the next video. <laughs> Bye.